All right, cool. That's uh, what I'm having now. This um, some people would call that junk draw, um, but it's, it's really just like supplies. Really, it's not tools per se. It's just really supplies. So we'll try to start in the back and then work with uh, what else do we have. So right here, I got a um, a Gerber. Uh, it's pretty much just a knife. Um, pretty nice. I don't really use it. I've had it since 2008. <clears throat> it's there. Then I got some um, bench made, bench made knife. Let's see, try to shake this out. This I've had for a while also. Uh, it's also in a, it's also in a case. I think this is that one that's. I was told that was illegal, but uh, so you gotta be careful with this. So you gotta be very careful with this knife because pay attention. Try not to cut myself. Yep, you gotta be very careful. But I like it. I like it. Um. I'll put this back together when I'm done. Um, so, forgive the shakiness. Yeah, I'm over fine now. I got some um, some Letterman. I got two of them. I got several of them, but I got two right here. Um, this one, a smaller one. Um, I saved these little packets just to keep these little silica packets just to keep um, reduce moisture. Got these uh power probe um like let's see this is like a cigarette lighter tester it lights up tell you if it's working or not it has like the standard uh three prong plug one um there's another one around here somewhere there's a usb one that i have um i got those got a astro pneumatic tire pressure gauge with a light Nifty. Uh, Skillcraft pen pencil. It's like a one inch, one inch lead. Um, let's see, I think this thing turns off on its own. We'll see by the time this video is done. Um, back up with a pencil. Back here. Uh, what else? I'm just going through this because partly sometimes you forget what you have. You end up buying it twice. Um, some brake bleeder screws. I uh, my my car 2008 Acura TL Type S. The the dual piston um, front brakes there. It has dual uh, ble brake bleeders. And when I was uh, trying to bleed a brake once, on the inner one on the passenger side, um, started stripping. So I'm going to replace it next time I do a, a brake job. Um, at least next time I do a brake bleed job. Uh, these are the connectors for the the master, the brake um, reservoir for one of the bleeding kits I have. And this thing took forever to get to me. Uh, I could have just bought it somewhere else had I known. Got some uh, some blue Loctite back here. Uh, multiple different um, types of uh, razor blades for different like different cutting tools I have. So they just stay back here. Um, this is a attachment to my Mighty Vac um, transmission fill. I believe it's for the transmission fill or something. I know it's for my back unit I have of sorts. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, what is this? What did I buy? Let's see. You now this opens up. Why do I think this is something about. I want 
to say this is to clean uh, maybe EGR valves or something. I totally forgot what I purchased that for. But uh, chances are they'll come in handy, being that they're so small. Same thing. I think they're just different sizes, to be honest. Um, cleaner drill. Uh, I forgot what I bought these for, but I have them. Um, Blades for my uh, Ingersoll ran um, ear saw. Ear reciprocating saw, is that what you call it? Yep. Got those. Um, I got some uh, tire thread depth gauge. Um, I got the manual ones. I got a second one right here. I think this is the thing that came on top of my uh, Mueller Kepps half inch impact. It has two little eyelets on there and it just like hooks into it and you can just hang it from there. So I took it there. Uh, got a USB with all my, uh, my car manual, the service manual for my, my Acura. I also have the books, but I got an electronic version. This big tube right here. Um, SURNR. It's like a it's a EGR port cleaning kit. Um, I need to get around to doing that, but I think I'm gonna replace the the gaskets and stuff because I suspect that they're starting to like um, fail. So once I do that, I'll get in there and I'll get around to using this. I haven't used it yet. Uh, what's down there? Down here, um, it's a four-way tool, um, valve cores, uh, four, it, like we have some valve cores in there and stuff. Uh, like I said, this drawer is mainly just supplies, random stuff. We got some Honda Bond, good stuff. Yep, pretty sure I bought these for EGR cleaning, EGR port cleaning. Got Pretty sure that's what I bought these for. Um, this thing right here, you can attach it to your um, your standard um, emergency jack that you have in your car, um, and use a like a half inch um, impact on it or something to get it going faster. Um, something I picked up. I haven't used it. It's there. Uh, this broke off on the exhaust of my my car, so I need to I need to replace that portion. I don't know why I kept this piece, but I I did. Um, let's see lug nuts that I took off to replace them with like um, lug nuts with keys on them. Uh, Honda. Acura fuel filter banjo bolts. That thing. Got a, uh, a clip here. So when I'm using my uh, my books in the shop here in the garage, I can um, keep the pages open. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's see. It's probably gonna be really hard to put this thing back together. Throw these on your batteries. Red for positive, uh, green for for negative, brown. Um, what's this uh, brake gauge, our brake pad gauge. I haven't actually used this um, yet. Sorry about the shakiness of the video. I am having to hold this this thing up. Um, 
trying to get this out because I totally forgot what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is supposedly a means to like check your brakes. Um, but I haven't actually used it yet. <laughs> I think this was like a spur of the moment purchase. Like you're supposed to be able to check the ones in the the inside brakes pads or something. Um, I believe that's what it's for. Clearly a lot of crap that I haven't used yet. But everything have its purpose, everything have its time. Everything have a date that it will be used. I just don't know when. All right, um, what is this? Some kind of caps of sorts, I don't know. Uh, uh, grenade pins for your uh, tensioner in, the, in Hondas. So you pull the pin and it releases. Um, and if you need to reset it, then you need a pin. I've only ever done it once and I didn't keep the pin, so I got that. Hopefully they don't bend or something. More of these uh, crank, not crank, uh, engine air intake bolts. Got them from Acura, because they break easily. Some standard uh, valve stem covers, in case I ever need them. More of those bolts. Some cutoff disc. Oh, here's that uh, power probe USB tester. It kind of lights up whenever, just like these ones. What else do we have in here? I have these uh, harness um, zip ties. I don't know what you call these. There, there. What else? Um, some touch up paint. I gotta touch up my, I gotta figure out what I wanna do for my, my car. Um, wanna touch up the paint or I'm starting to get a little bit of chips on it, so I gotta fix that. This here is the I want to say this is this is the bolt that you use on the Harbor Freight uh, crossbeam when you want to replace it, um, replace your jack pad with a crossbeam. This is the bolt you use. So I just put it right here. Pretty sure it's for the Harbor Freight jack and the crossbeam. <clears throat> uh, always change your crush washers. These are really cheap. I bought a pack of like 50. Um, the big one is a transmission crush washer. But every time I replace my Dream Out well, I always replace the crush washer. Um, I have these uh, valve stem. Um, the Acura, I just found that they were a little bit long. They kind of stuck, um, kind of stick out a little bit. What else? Some, uh, well, some syringe. Um, I think I had gotten these to like inject something into some line on the car. Um, what else? Some uh, brake bleeder uh, nipple covers. Right there. Some more uh, razors. Uh, cordless circuit tester. I really haven't tried that one either. Um, this is for that astro, astro pneumatic um, vice grip with the slide hammer attached to it, the little pin. It doesn't like stay in place, so I don't want to lose it, so. Just remove the pin. Um, I kept the kept the 
retaining clip for the Harbor Freight Daytona jack um, that keeps the handle down or the you know what I mean keeps the lower portion of the handle down um, clip for my uh, Astrolite it doesn't stay in place I'd probably have to glue it but I don't want to glue it in place um, I don't know what else is in here I'm trying to oh, there's a there's like a cheap husky um, dial digital caliper um, yeah I think that's about covers what's in this junk drawer um, supposedly it's not really junk as you can see it's more supply oh got some uh, glue sticks with my came with my Ryobi glue gun works What else, what else, what else, what else can I see in here? But, uh, batteries for some device of sorts, I'm not even sure. Probably a caliper. Those tend to use those like small watch batteries and stuff, so yeah, I'd probably that if I, um, All right, well, I'm gonna have the fun task of getting everything put back in here in a manner that allows it to close up, so, but. This is just uh, my my junk drawer. I got a lot more um, tools and stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Uh, standard like uh, black silicone adhesive so seal, uh, sealant. Yeah, I think that's it. That's in my junk drawer. Yeah, this serves. For me, it serves the purpose of uh, realizing what I have so I don't go back and buy the same thing twice because I don't realize I have it already. Um, and it just kind of reminds me of uh, kind of jobs I need to do, like clean my EGR ports, um, you know, all that good stuff. Stuff that I haven't tried yet. You know, there's like this circuit, cordless circuit tester. Um, maybe like plug this into my cigarette lighter just to see if it works so I can say I'm using it. <laughs> See, I'm using it. It's crazy. Um, let's see. What else is there? Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, so anyway, boom, eco more.